Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to my first video on automation, game automation. I'm using Pullabus Macro Creator, you can download it at macrocreator.com for free. Hit the download link and install it from there. Unfortunately, if you can't install this, then I don't think this guide is going to be of use to you. But let's dig into opening the program and making our first image recognition automation for a game. So start up the program it's going to be looking like this completely blank i'm using version 505 of the macro creator program and for this demonstration i have selected to play egg clicker from roblox this may sound like a silly easy game but any automation you need to learn how to do can be tested in a game like this remember guys that Automation is often a violation of game terms of service and it can get you banned. The concept here is that you click to damage an egg. So we're going to be starting out here by making an if statement. And what we want to make sure is that the Roblox window is active so we don't click on random things. So if Roblox is active, we say if we hit the three panels, then we right click in the Roblox window, we get this up and running and now we can do something if that is the case. So if this is the case, we want to take our mouse and we want to move and click it to a position. We click the three dots, we right click where we wanted to click and we basically have a macro that will click there whenever that window is up and running. We're going to give it a pause just because we don't want it to do it like forever ever crashing the computer. You can set this to pretty much anything you want. It is just to add in a bit of a break. So this is our basic loop. If the window is open, it's going to be clicking. We're going to be saving it, giving it a game name, not a game name, a macro name, and then testing it out by hitting control enter on a PC. Then we get this control window and we hit play there. It's going to play the macro one time. So that is pretty easy. Now we still need to click one time to play one time. So it may not sound like that good of a deal, but we can change that inside the macro editor by setting the one there to a number, the number of times we want it to repeat or zero for infinite. Pull of us macro creator has an image search function. We enter that and then we click on the dots and right click in the area where we want to search for something on the screen. Here we drag with our right mouse button to select the area that we want to check in, in this case the fight boss button. Now we can check the small box by the image and select another small box with our right mouse button and if it finds this piece of image in the area we have selected, it can do something. God, it is tricky, it is something you need to find out how you can work around, putting in a mouse action to click on the place where we have the boss battle option instead. So now when we use our macro, if it sees this red boss button, it will click it. Changing the pause, nothing important about that, just control options. So now we can click automatically in a game. And if we face a boss that we fail to defeat, it will automatically click that area. Just for testing, we can go in here now and make sure that look at that we can now leave battle instead of fight the boss so that is pretty cool we now have something we will only click on if it is scanned on and it actually works the next thing to do is to make the upgrades work and this is a menu that slides from the side so once again we want image recognition so we actually have an area around the button that always looks the same so if we have a light blue area here we can look for this area right next to the menu and if it is bright blue, then the menu is obviously closed. And then we can click where we know we can open the button. So when we look for a light blue area next to the menu and it is there, it means that the menu isn't open and we can click where we want it to. So let's check this out in the game and see if we're going to be opening the menu and fighting the boss at the same time. And look at that. It worked like a charm. So remember, if you want to know more, of course, I'm going to be demonstrating how this works. But if you want to know more, join the channel, post a comment in the members area about what types of automation would you like to see, like video tutorials about was this a bit too fast? Do you want to know more? Break, but let's check the macro now. 
it is opening the upgrade, it is buying the upgrades, it is challenging the boss and whenever we can afford a new upgrade, it is actually clicking on that button. So guys, this was my first crazy small but still I hope highly like efficient introduction to automation in computer games. Remember that automation in games, third party software is often a violation of the game's terms of service and it can get you banned not just from one game but from the entire network of games provided by that publisher or game developer. As always guys, thank you very much for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing my videos with your friends. It absolutely means the world to me that you guys are supporting my channel like this. I am beyond amazed about the support you guys are showing me. For now guys, thank you very much and very much for watching.